right now we're, you know, we're, we're giving them some primary positions to learn, but uh, Coach Starver and Coach, Coach Bloom are really trying to cross-train uh, most of the linebackers. It's just going to be a situation once we get on the field and um, we start running our defense. It's going to be how well they fit it, you know, a specific position. Um, are they are they capable of making plays uh, based on the scheme? So it, it's going to be something we're about to fill out once we get back for, for training camp. But I tell you what, all those guys uh, in the meetings really have been doing a good job. So I know mentally they can handle it. It's just physically what can they what are they capable of doing? Great. Next question will be from Marla Ridnour. Marla, if you could unmute on your side, please. Uh, yeah, I wanted to go down that same path a little bit. Is there something that when you looked at Mac Wilson and Taki Taki that jumped out about maybe their skill set or something that you could improve on, you know, not necessarily their weaknesses, but what did you like about them that you, that gives you optimism about how good they can be? Yeah, I think they're both athletic. They have cover skills. They have range. Um, I think they're both, uh, they play with a nasty demeanor. Um, I remember uh, last year we were looking at Mac and uh, Dre Greenlaw. So they're both to me similar type of players. So I have a reference just in terms of what I saw uh, Dre last year, but um, both of those guys just look like what we want at linebacker. Athletic, uh, play physical, run to the ball. So I think they're a natural fit. Um, they're just both young guys that need to keep gaining experience. Eric, hey, uh, with uh, so many new coaches here, and uh, Joe Woods did coach with Stefanski for, what, five or six years together, right? Right, in Minnesota, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that, that shouldn't be a problem. No, they have a, a great familiarity with each other. They get along really well. They're definitely on the same page and how they like to coach guys and what their philosophy is. Uh, they're, they're singing from the same hymnal, so to speak. <laughs> so who, what, what stuck out most uh, to you from the press conference, the media conference today? Any surprises? Um, no, there weren't any surprises. I, I think that, uh, you know, he readily admitted, and, and you could hear some of it there, that they are, uh, they're not really sure what they have in the linebacking core. I think they're pretty certain of what they have on the defensive line and what they have in the defensive backfield. But when it comes to the linebacking core, it's a little bit of a work in progress. They've got a lot of bodies there. They've got a lot of guys, as he mentioned, that are cross training for different positions. So no one really knows for sure exactly who the strong side or the weak side or the middle linebacker is going to be yet. Uh, all, what's more, they don't even know for sure if they're going to be in that 4-3 base very often. They'll probably be in a lot of nickel, a lot of dime, and doing some different things. So that was one of the things that I found to be interesting is that, you know, he admitted uh, that they really don't know exactly how that's going to shake out yet. And the challenging part of that is the fact that they are not on the field with their guys. They're almost done with their defensive install, and they have not seen their players. Joe Woods doesn't really know what Sione Taki Taki is capable of because he's never seen them on the football field. He doesn't know how he'll respond to being yelled at. He doesn't know how he'll respond to Nick Chubb catching the ball out of the backfield. He doesn't know any of that yet, and I think that's been uh, one of the most challenging parts of this offseason. Is that not knowing much about the linebackers or not adding enough, maybe enough people out there, is that by design or is that because they tried to get people and couldn't get them or they had other, other needs before, the, before that? Maybe on the it offensive just, side of the ball. Yeah, you know what? It just doesn't seem like they're allocating a ton of resources to the linebacker position. And you and I have talked about this before, about Clay Matthews. He's still out there. He's somebody that I was interested in uh, at least taking a look at. And it really doesn't seem like that's something that they're planning to do at this point. But, um, you know, I, I just think that, you know, when you let a Joe Schobert walk, I think that really speaks to what you think about the linebacker position at this point. It's... Uh, you know, they're, they're not necessarily going to be getting to the quarterback. You've got most of your uh, defensive linemen are going to handle that part of it. Uh, I just don't think it's a position of super, super high priority for them right now.